Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm baking salmon two ways, one with garlic, lemon, and thyme, and the other with a spicy Cajun seasoning. And I'll be serving my salmon fillets over this healthy and fresh grain bowl. To start, I lined a baking tray with foil and sprayed it with baking spray, and I preheated my oven to 450 degrees. Next, I grabbed my boneless, skin-on salmon fillets and placed them with the skin side down onto the baking tray. To help my seasoning stick to the surface of my salmon, say that three times fast, I spray them with baking spray, or you could rub a little olive oil over the top. So I'm using this Tony Saturi's Cajun seasoning. My husband loves this, so I coat the salmon in it. It can be a little bit spicy. There's a lot of cayenne pepper in there, but it makes this awesome, very flavorful crust. And then for my second salmon filet, I seasoned it with some pink Himalayan salt and freshly cracked pepper, along with some garlic powder, dried thyme leaves, and some fresh lemon zest. At this point, my salmon was ready to be baked. It's as easy as that. These seasonings are so simple, but incredibly flavorful. The salmon bakes at 450 degrees for about 13 to 15 minutes, or until the flesh is opaque and it flakes nicely with a fork. So while the salmon was baking, I prepped all my ingredients for my grain bowl, starting with farro. And this is a really delicious grain, it kind of reminds me of a cross between bulgur wheat and barley. It's nice and chewy. So I had two cups of water and one cup of farro. I brought it to a boil and then covered it and reduced the heat to a simmer and allowed that to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Next, I made a simple dressing to put on my salad. Starting with the juice of one lemon, the same lemon that I zested for my salmon, I squeezed that into a dish that had about a quarter cup of olive oil in it. I seasoned this with one clove of pressed garlic, some salt and pepper, about two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, and two teaspoons of honey. And then I stirred it all together to combine. Next, I'm making some of my soy glazed mushrooms, which were part of my healthy grain bowl video that I filmed last winter, so I'm gonna link to that down below. But these are phenomenal. It's chopped up portobello mushrooms cooked in butter, soy sauce, honey, and garlic, and they have so much flavor. It's sort of an optional ingredient, but not really, because you just don't wanna eat this without them. <laughs> Lastly, I'm chopping up some fresh vegetables. So I started with seedless cucumber that I diced up. I have grape tomatoes, yellow bell pepper, garlic stuffed green olives, and seedless Kalamata olives. And all together, this was just such a nice variety of textures and colors and sweet and salty and tangy flavors. Such a great combination. After about 15 minutes, my salmon had finished baking in the oven. It was nice and flaky. It smelled delicious. I like buying the skin on salmon because it's a little less expensive. And once the fish is cooked, it peels very easily off of the skin. So it's not even an issue. Here, I'm just showing you how easily my salmon flakes. You can tell that it's perfectly cooked through, not overcooked, it's just started to turn opaque. If it still has a little bit of a translucent color to it, let it cook for a couple minutes longer, there's no problem there. You just don't wanna overbake your fish because then it'll be kind of dry and a little bit tougher. But you can see here, as I mentioned before, that it just peels so easily away from the skin. So now I'm assembling my grain bowl. This is just one serving suggestion, of course. You can serve your salmon however you'd like. But here I have a bed of spring mix that I'm topping with my cooked farro, along with a spoonful of those incredibly delicious and flavorful mushrooms. I'm topping it with some bell pepper strips, some chopped up grape tomatoes, the olives, the cucumber, an entire array of colors. I just love how beautiful this dish looks. And for my bowl, I'm using the garlic, lemon, and thyme salmon. That's my favorite of the two. And then I'm just drizzling a little bit of that dressing right over top, and it's good to go. This was such a delicious and fresh and healthy dinner that both my husband and I absolutely love. And to be honest, my kids love salmon too. I hope you give one or both of these recipes for baked salmon a try. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked what I shared with you today. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe.